Uh, structural collapse is obviously where we see a structure coming down, uh, whether it be wall frames, roofs, floors, second storeys. Um, and there's, there's a lot of reasons that a structural collapse may uh, happen. Uh, some of the most common causes are lack of bracing of the structure, uh, whether it be ply bracing or uh, the speed bracing or the uh, hoop iron bracing along wall frames. Um, it may be from overloading of the structure itself, whether that be the roof or the first or second floor uh, posi trusses. Um, it may be that something hasn't been nailed off or bracketed off correctly. Um, or the, the overloading of structural members. I've attended quite a few structural collapse incidents myself. Um, some of the main causes have been the overloading of uh, the subfloor frames uh, through uh, packets of uh, large sheet flooring um, and compressed sheet, uh, cement sheeting as well. Uh, they've been placed in areas where uh, there's been no uh, support underneath those structural members. Uh, or the, the area has been overloaded grossly, uh, which in turn causes the, the structural members to fail and the, the subfloor frame to fail. Uh, a lot of the time when this happens, there, there are people uh, at, at the point of the failure, so at, at the packs of sheet flooring themselves. Uh, and unfortunately, we've, we've seen both serious and fatal injuries caused from these structural collapses. The impact is wide and varied of a structural collapse. Uh, basically, if a structural collapse is to happen on a building site, everyone who is working in that vicinity is at risk. Uh, it could be the people that are directly involved in the task being undertaken. It could be uh, people working outside of the building. Uh, it also may be uh, people working directly underneath uh, the area of the cause of the structural collapse as well.